guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the start of a weekly vlog um i was going to start this on monday today is friday the 4th of january um i was going to start my weekly vlog on monday but i vlogged yesterday and um that was mikey um or a date of mikey if you can hear the computer fan i do apologize i am editing that video um <clears throat> yeah and i really enjoyed it so I thought I would start my weekly vlog today. Um, I am wearing my jumper. I absolutely love it. Um, <clears throat> so, what's happened today so far? Um, I've gone to the dentist. And the crown that they put in, he did check it. And he looked at the x-rays and everything like that. And he said that it all looks fine. Um, it might still be settling in. So, they've given me antibiotics. I have actually got a coffee here as this is my first one of the day um, because I didn't want to drink or eat anything before I went to the dentist. My appointment was at half past eight this morning and then Ian's car's gone into the garage. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that happened as well. Um, so this is the first one of the day. <laughs> but I thought I would start the weekly vlog and have it a little bit longer this time. Um, it probably will be uh, Monday to Sunday as per usual um but things might change throughout the month i don't know um we'll just have to wait and see so yes i've got antibiotics for my tooth um today we might be going out later on um to a car meet up cruise thing um not 100 percent sure yet um ian's finding out whether anyone else is going so it's a case of finding out what's happening later <laughs> um car cruises do normally happen on a friday or saturday so it's just a case of whoever's up for going and anything like that so i don't know it's a case <laughs> of that also it is freezing today it's so cold i got in the car <clears throat> at quarter past eight and it said 0.5 degrees so like nearly freezing nearly zero <laughs> so really cold um and that is why i put this on because i thought it would keep me warm um the neck is a little bit big um like that way it's not big like downwards or anything so um it's not too bad i suppose the sleeves are perfect length absolutely perfect um and i can pull them down if i want to because obviously it's garter stitch um but it's a it's perfect sort of wrist length um the length of the body is fine um it's still curling a little bit and i have steam blocked it um but i think i'm just gonna have to live with that because i don't want to ruin the actual yarn or anything so it might be something that i have to live with unless any of you have got any good ideas that i can actually block it um with so <clears throat> i'm just editing um i'm so tired really really tired the last couple of days i've not slept very well i've gone to bed really late just because i haven't been tired but then during the day i'm tired and the last two nights i've actually um had a nap on the sofa in the evening and i don't think that's helped <clears throat> um i was up early this morning so i don't know whether to try and get half an hour like just mong out on the sofa and see if I can get to sleep because I am really tired um but we shall see if not then I will just do my knitting also <clears throat> this is the other thing that I wanted to mention on here is that while I've been knitting two at a time socks I've noticing or I am noticing I'm just gonna place you down a second that <clears throat> I have started to get oh you can see it like that <laughs> I've started to get a callus or like a lump on my finger um it is quite painful just because um I think it's rubbing like the actual wall or the the needle is rubbing I have bought a new needle which is the Knit Pro Zing yeah the Knit Pro Zing 2.5 mil 80 centimeter so i'm hoping that'll be long enough to do two at a time 
as well. I think that's what I'm using at the moment anyway. Um, so I don't know whether it's the needle. I don't know whether it's the yarn. Um, let me... But can you just see that little lump there? On that, fi not on that hand, I haven't got anything. But then on that hand, just there. And obviously I don't want it to get any worse. Because I don't want to end up with like a bunion <laughs> on my finger. Um, so I don't really know what to do. Um, I was thinking of maybe putting a plaster on it. But will that irritate it still? And I'm thinking that maybe the plaster might just get in my way. So yeah, that is what I'm dealing with at the moment. Is that. <clears throat> um, but yeah. Um, also in my vlog yesterday I said that my nail stuff came as well um, and normally I'm sort of all hyped up to do my nails and get on with it but today I just can't be bothered. I'm sort of in a can't be bothered sort of mood. <laughs> um, they've only been on for two and a bit weeks so I'm going to maybe see. They are, they are disgusting. Um, I don't know how well they're going to focus. Probably not very well. Like they've really, really grown out. Um, but I might leave them till beginning of next week. <coughs> um, just because today I can't be bothered. The weekend Ian's here and he hates the smell. So normally during the week I have got the window open. I have a, ca I have a couple of candles burning. Um, and I do it when I get up. So then by the time he gets home, the smell is mostly gone. Um, so... Yeah, I just, I just can't be bothered. Um, and I am going to use another gel polish that I bought. Probably um, a pinky, I bought a pinky colour and I've got a purpley colour. But I'm not sure yet. It's, I haven't made up my mind. But I've rambled on for seven minutes. <laughs> so this might be a very long weekly vlog. Whoopsie. So let's um, get today on the on the road I was gonna say it is um, half past 11 already so I'm just gonna have um, a little bit of a chill today and not really do that much um, probably some cross stitch and some knitting but I'm sure I'll show you that a little bit later well you know that I said that I was gonna do some knitting um, or some cross stitch I'm sure I said that <laughs> um, I've moved my little lady to down here just because um, on the back of the chair we've got like a little ledge like this bit here and um, I've put my cushion behind me sorry if it's really blurry um, and I've just thought I'll put my little lady there um, these are the knitting needles that I got let me show you Knit Pro Zings sorry about the glare um, you can see the cable it's a black cable with a red needle 2.5s um 80 centimeter so i thought oh, i'm going to give that, those a go um i got those with some christmas money just because i wanted something a little bit better than the i think they're pony needles that i'm using at the moment um and the join sometimes the yarn gets stuck but anyway <clears throat> as i was saying i've just made myself a cup of coffee i have got like a bit of mess up there so i need to tidy that uh i have got an order that I did talk to you yesterday about and it is for it is a paid for pattern on Ravelry so I'm not going to show you the actual um, pattern or anything I'll show you a picture it might come up a bit blue um, wow that's a lot of glare <laughs> um, but that is what it is and it's just a little lovey a sheep lovey type thing um, cuddle a cuddler whatever you want to call it um, it is a pay for pattern. It's called Snuggle Lamb Baby Lovey Blanket Crochet Pattern. I got the pattern from the lady that not I didn't get the pattern. I got a picture um, and a link, a link to a Pinterest pin um, of the pattern, and it's one of Ian's friends' girlfriends. One of Ian's friends. Um, his girlfriend has requested it <laughs> for one of. The, their friends oh it's getting too confusing <laughs> um but <clears throat> i've done some of it so far there's 22 pages to the pattern so i am not printing the pattern um i have bought it i think it was two pound 40 um so i have bought the pattern but 
it's as you can see on the it's a bubble stitch and I've done one row of bubble stitch it just looks a mess um, so I'm hoping that once I've got a few more rows on it it will look a little bit better and a little bit more that you can see what it is I don't know whether it's just me or but I'm thinking that a couple of more rounds might dis distinguish it a little bit more so I'm going to get on with some of that <clears throat> and let's see I will show you once I've done a couple of more rows so it's a little bit later on we've gone to pick Ian's car up and it's all fine um, it's running smoothly so that's all good um, <clears throat> Ian's just gone to the petrol station to jet wash his car off as we are going out tonight um, we don't know the location yet because that isn't put up till last minute um, and I just want to put it out there really um, you see all these um, news things going round about boy racers and people that go to car meets they're just troublemakers and all this that and the other and I hope that the people that watch me um, know me well enough uh, sort of um, and, and Ian I suppose to know that we're not troublemakers we go for the social aspect and we go because we're into our cars I, I love my car Ian loves his car he does it up his friends are the same if you watch my New Year's Eve video then um, they are Ian's closest friends uh, John, Bills and Dan um, he's got other friends as well like Joel and all the people that are in the, I'm not going to name everyone um, everyone that's in the waffle chat and he's got so many friends that are car enthusiasts and you get the one or two people that like to ruin it for everybody else um that go drifting that go racing up and down the road that's not what we do um we go park up have a good time together have a chat have a laugh and meet up with friends that we haven't seen for a little while or haven't spoken to have spoken to for a little while and just have a catch up basically it's like if we were pub people we would go to the pub and meet our friends have a drink have a laugh it's the same sort of thing that is what we do and that's why we do it I have noticed on the news um, there was an, an article about the racing in Enfield which is in North London <coughs> and they're saying that um, that we're, we're troublemakers and um, it's not good we go racing up and down the road and like I said you get the minority of people that like to ruin it for others like again that's not what we do we don't go racing why are we going to spend all that money on our cars to look nice to go race it and potentially crash I don't understand or go drifting it and potentially smash it into something um, I have seen it before where a car's gone drifting and smashed it into a curb um, that is my phone let me get that and I'll be back that was Ian to say that he had finished with a jet wash and he's on his way back which is literally around the corner so I would have heard him come back here hear him come back anyway so yeah that's me putting my two penneth worth in um, if anyone watches this and thinks that oh, we're one of the troublemakers and we're really not. We just go to have a laugh with our friends and catch up and go and see what our friends have done new to their cars and half the time it's nothing because half the time nothing really gets done to the cars, especially in the winter and things. So, yeah, that is just my little rant. Um, it's not that I think that any of you think that now don't don't get me wrong I don't think any of you think that I hope you don't because you should know me well enough that I don't want to cause trouble and I and nobody that we know and it's like like I said I just remembered what I was saying <laughs> um yeah we saw a car drifting and it smashed into a curb and its wheel went underneath and it was a nice car and you know you think so basically for you to go drifting or donut in like it was going round in a circle in the car park you've just ruined your car like why 
what was the point in that? Um, so yeah, people do ruin it and that's why all the police want to shut it down and um, they do dispersal orders where if you are seen in a group then in a, in a certain area that's got a dispersal um, <clears throat> a dispersal thing on it <laughs> I can't remember what it's called um, that you get moved on you, you get moved on and if you get seen to do it again then you do get I think it's a section 57 or something really silly like that and it's basically a warning to say don't do it again because you will get nicked for it um, so yeah I just that's my two penneth worth and I probably ranted on about something you're not even interested in but yeah that's that um, I probably will vlog a little bit tonight see what's going on um, I'll vlog some some cars and that and see if obviously people don't mind me vlogging um, but we shall see because I don't know who's going um, but yeah, Ian's back, I just hear, heard him come in the car park. That's how close the petrol station is from us. It's literally outside of the gate. <laughs> um, and down the road, like, not even that far. So anyway, I'm going to go. And um, yeah, it's half past three. And I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat some Pringles. it's now Saturday and yeah last night was good um, it was quite funny at some points and yeah but <laughs> I did film a little bit but it is a little bit dark so yeah it's not brilliant uh, hopefully in the summer when it stays lighter for longer I'll be able to get a little bit more um, like footage while it's still light because obviously in the summer here it doesn't get dark till about 10 o'clock um, well it don't well, about nine o'clock it starts getting dark. Um, but yeah, it was it was a nice night, and yeah, that was about that was about it. <laughs> um, this morning we've just been sort of monging out, and I didn't get I didn't get up till eleven o'clock. I was so tired. Um, the last couple of days, not yesterday obviously, but the the two days before that, I've had a nap in the evening just because I've been so tired. So I think I just needed to stay in bed and stay asleep I did wake up at nine and I was like no I'm too tired I'm going back to sleep um so yeah I had a lovely lay in this morning um but we are going to drop something off um to one of Ian's friends and then we're gonna pop to my mum's um my sister's there with a baby um so yeah that's what we're doing today I will catch you up a little bit later it's now Sunday and it's 10 to 6 in the afternoon, um, evening, whatever you want to call it. Um, we did go to my mum's yesterday. I didn't record anything just because I thought throughout the month there will be enough footage of my key, I'm sure. <laughs> um, and we just sort of relaxed and had some dinner and then came home. So nothing really exciting happening. But... I've been working on this lovey thing, I'm going to call it a lovey, um, so this was my first attempt and followed the pattern and it was not coming out, you cannot see the definition in the puff stitches or the bubble stitches um, or anything, so uh, that was using a 3.5mm hook and that was 3 
it's a it, it's a what do they call it modified bobble stitch so instead of doing three double crochets unfinished no five double crochets unfinished you only do three um but that was my first attempt so i've been working on it um yesterday and today and i can't wait for the blanket bit to be finished to be honest but this is what i've got and it's working a, a lot better i'm using a three three mil hook i'm using my light up hook and it's got the three mil um attachment but it is going dead so it's really bright like that give it a couple of minutes and it will start <laughs> going um going off it needs charging but <clears throat> this is what it what i've got so far will it focus on it um the bobble stitches are coming out pretty well um but yeah it's just taking an age to do around um because obviously it's a five point star and then you've got the bobble stitches on every other round um i think i've got four more rounds to do all in like two more bobble stitches to stitch rounds and two more normal rounds then i can start on the head so yeah i'm looking forward to getting that done um just the blanket bit because it's taking forever i'm so glad it's not a big huge blanket because i would be bored by now i think because i'm using a three mil hook as well just because the bubble stitches weren't coming up as well and this is the aldi double knit which is a lot thinner than normal double knit so i'm going to do it to the pattern and then see how it comes out do the body parts um let me turn the tv down <clears throat> um do the body parts and then see if it needs to go any bigger just because of the size difference in hook but it should be fine it's only half a size so we should be all good but um that's what i've been mainly working on today and i went over tesco early earlier and just come home and chilled so i'm gonna do some dinner very soon um we're gonna have really strange concoction but <clears throat> um Instead of doing sausage toad, which is, if you're not familiar with it, it is sausages in batter mix um, or in Yorkshire pudding. But tonight we are going to have meatballs in the batter mix. So we've got IKEA meatballs, which are delicious. Um, so I'm going to do them instead of the sausages and chorizo potatoes. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, <coughs> excuse me um tomorrow i am going to um my friend's mum's house to help her with her etsy um like i was doing before it just sort of fell by the wayside and now she got an order um yesterday late last night so i'm gonna go tomorrow help her she saw it it pings up on her phone and she can get into the order but i'm gonna go there and then we're going to decide whether she wants to carry on or not. But obviously that is her decision. I'm not going to influence that one way or the other. That is entirely up to her. Um, I think she's only got two things on her Etsy store at the moment. Um, but I will let you know what she does. Um, because then you can go and have a look at her store if she puts everything back on. But anyway, so I'm going to carry on with this and do some dinner soon. And... Um, yeah i can't wait for it to be finished so i'm currently at tina's and we are helping or i am helping her with her jewelry um we've just put a load of um or renewed a load of stuff on the etsy store um she got an order on saturday evening so we're going to post that uh but i've just done a little video um which would have been will be up before this obviously because this goes up at the end of the week um but I've just done a video showing a few bits that uh, Tina's made and the her Etsy store will be linked down below. Um, I think it's linked down below anyway, but I will put it as a default so it's always there. Um, and if I ever mention anything, you can just go and have a look. Um, so, yeah, but we are just going to go and post <coughs> her um, item that she sold um, and then... Yeah, that's about it. 
yeah they're all one-offs um nothing is made the same again they're all different um all genuine gemstones um nothing is fake it's all um genuine if you need to have um authentication of the actual gemstone then tina keeps that as well she has um cards to say that they are real um so yeah go check out the shop there's so many lovely bits on there for valentine's day um if you didn't catch the video then um i suggest you go and have a look but this is the item that tina has sold a talk necklace with a black agate yeah it is a black agate yes <laughs> um wire wrapped ah oh, it's focusing now um lovely absolutely beautiful so um, we're gonna be sending that off i'm still getting used to all the different gemstones so if i say anything wrong i apologize <laughs> but um there is some that i can just look at and go oh that's such and such that's such and such some of them i can't uh but yeah so we're gonna go and do that and go check out her chan uh, her not her channel her shop <laughs> um it's on etsy tom foolery by tina and there's some lovely bits on there now home um we got quite a few a few things up on etsy i think there was 48 items um but we've sorted out a load of other stuff to put on as well um there also will be a sale going um on from saturday 20 percent off all of the items that are on the store at the moment and um which we are calling old stock um because tina's made so much new like so much more new stuff that um we're just having a sort of um make way for the new stock sale <laughs> um i'm just uploading the video that i did today showing the few bits and bobs um so yeah i'm gonna probably do a bit of crochet this evening and um try and finish that sheep cuddly thing um and i think i've done the blanket i need to soak it because it is a little bit stiff so i'm gonna soak it and see if it softens up i also got an order today for a virus shawl from tina <laughs> um she wants a blue a dark blue virus shawl <clears throat> so yes after the lovey i will start that um as i said i want to have one crochet one knitting and one cross stitch thing on the go um so i have three things as well as socks ian's giving me a weird look <laughs> um i, I will ha always have a pair of socks on the go just because i can take them out with me um and they will get done eventually so i'm going to say two items of knitting um stuff on the go just because socks will always be on my needles <laughs> um but i've just uploading this i'm gonna drink a coffee and chill for a bit good morning uh, it is now tuesday and i am doing my nails because they are atrocious and i've lost one <laughs> um it was becoming really loose and it kept snagging on things so um yeah i lost one but out of three weeks today i've lost one so i'm really pleased with that um but today is going to be the last day of this vlog because I feel like it's going to be really, really long. Um, so I'm going to end the vlog here. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to end the vlog today, like later on. Um, I'm out tomorrow. Yeah, I might end it um, like this afternoon and edit today. Just because I feel like it's going to be really long. And... Um, <clears throat> yeah I, I know that people prefer shorter vlogs instead of like hour long vlogs um so i'm gonna do a little bit today and i haven't done anything with my hair this morning so excuse that um but i'm gonna do my nails and i will show you them and then i'll probably end the vlog and then carry on with another one um for the rest of the week uh just because i started it friday i think was it friday i started this vlog I can't remember uh, <laughs> um or thursday anyway uh, it was one of those days and i know that i filmed quite a bit um and i've just rambled on quite a bit as well so 
Um, but I am really missing daily vlogging. But I know there's so many people daily vlogging and I don't want to put a video up and then people think, oh my god, I've got so much to watch. <laughs> um, but yeah, so today I'm going to do my nails. And yeah, that's about it really. Um, I haven't got anything else planned. Um, just a chilled day. Tomorrow I'm back at Tina's to help her with more jewellery. Um, and I might vlog some of that as well, just so you can see what she's made and, and bits. Thank you for your comments um, on the tomfoolery video that I made yesterday. Um, <clears throat> some of the bits that she, she has made are beautiful. They are so nice. Um, so go check out tomfoolery link down below i know we keep plugging it but we just want to get more um footfall to her store even if it's even if you don't buy anything it's just nice to know that people are going and having a look um and if you do like anything or you think anything's pretty then just um i, I know it's not like I, I know you can't like things on etsy but you can favor it um but yeah so just Go and have a look because I'm always looking at the stats on, on the Etsy store and seeing how many people visit and things. So, yeah, I said I would help her with that and, um, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to really push that. And I'm going to really try and push my own as well um, just because I think that I want to make more but I've just sort of been so laid back lately with things like that. Um, I do want to make more bits for my store and yeah I just need to get a, a, a new kick up my ass <laughs> and um, do some more bits so but that will be in a couple of weeks time probably I'll try and get into a routine of doing things on a certain day even if it's for a couple of hours a day like making stitch markers and things like that um, because I want that's what I want my store to be really um, and anything I make like if I make something and I, I want to put it on there then I'll do that as well um, but primarily it's stitch markers and progress keepers and bits and bobs like that so yeah anyway I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna get on and do my nails so after a couple of hours my nails are done um, <clears throat> Yeah, I really like them. I think they're really summery, <laughs> um, but really lovely colours. Um, these are, this is gel polish. Um, I've used, uh, let me have a look here. So the blue, or the greeny turquoise colour, is Blue Sky. Um, this is a colour that Ian's sister gave to me very kindly. Um, this one is Fairy Glow, which is the purple lilac colour. Fairy Glow, I got this off of eBay for £1.30 something I think um, which is really really good um, they're probably not the best gel polishes in the world and I know you can buy gel polishes that are like I know this these blue sky ones are like £6.50 each um, but I thought as I'm only starting out and it's all new to me um, <clears throat> I would just try with the cheaper stuff and to be honest it's done exactly what the blue sky so this is the blue sky this um, green if it focuses will it focus hmm let me put you out so I can have my hand free <laughs> um, a little bit wonky here um, oh wow <laughs> that's something you don't want to see um, so this is the blue sky and this one is the um, fairy glow and I've also used a fairy glow top coat <clears throat> which I used last time on the temperature nails as well the base coat that I've used is I can't say that word so yeah that is the base coat I've also got the top coat for this but it's a matte top coat so I thought I would just do the normal um, but yeah, it's taken me quite a while to do the acrylic because this one had come off. And then I was getting phone calls and things like that in between. But they're really summery, but I don't care. I like summer. And um, yeah, that's that. Um, I probably will end today here just because it's probably really long. Um, and there is some bits that I want to do that <clears throat> I will take you along. But I'm not going to take you along in this one because I think that it might be a bit 
long um, anyway so but I am going to organise all my stuff. This is the clothes all. I'm going to organise all my stuff. There's a hanger in Ian's wardrobe that he doesn't like. So I'm going to take that out and put it in the cupboard in the hallway. And reorganise the cupboard. Um, yeah, I just want to make things a little bit more organised. A little bit more tidy. Um, and I'm in the mood for that. So I'm going to make a cup of coffee. Put some music on. I might even put my audio book on actually. That's a plan. Put my audio audio book on, and um, yeah. Anyway, I want to say thank you for watching because this has probably been a really rambly vlog and random. But <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Thank you for all your lovely comments. Um, I'm going to start another one very soon. Today, um, I'm going out with my sister later, so make sure you check out the next one. Um, that will probably be up on Monday. So this one will be up today. Um, a bit later on so today is Tuesday um, and then I will re-upload another one for the end of the week so <clears throat> really rambly I'm all over the place I don't really know what's going on <laughs> with me but I'm happy with my nails that's all that matters and I need to tidy up all my stuff so thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next one bye